becomes the outer corresponding to the inner, making the outer like the inner, peaceful and harmonious. And today your separate lives with their individual hopes and memories and desires merge into one. Will you bring to this new life, each for the sake of the other, the best that you have in you, the seeking to express your life together, each at the highest level of its own understanding? Will you do this to the best of your ability? They both said yes. <laughs> Tom, will you take this woman whose hand you hold, choosing her alone to be your wedded wife? Will you live with her in the state of true matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her at all times, and be faithful to her? I will. And Stacy, will you take this man whose hand you hold, your wedded husband? Will you live with him, comfort him, honor him at all times, and be faithful to him? I will. As you take these preliminary vows, I'd have you also be mindful of this beautiful passage by uh, uh, the mystic poet, Bihil Gibran. He said, you were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. Uh, you shall be together even the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance and be joyous. But let each of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver to the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, and yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And now, Tom, will you face her and take both of her hands? And hold her. Thank you. I'm going to repeat after me. I, Thomas William, take thee, Stacy. Mm -hmm. I, Thomas William, take thee, Stacy. To be my wife. To be my wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Thereto I pledge you my faith, and thereto I pledge you my faith. Stacy, will you repeat after me? I, Stacy, take thee, Thomas William. I, Stacy, take thee, Thomas William. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Thereto I pledge you my faith, and thereto I pledge you my faith. What token do you give as a symbol of your love? And have the rings of this. Bless, O oh God, these rings that those who give them and those who wear them may always abide in thy peace, may be together in perfect harmony and joy, and with new purpose fulfill thy will. Amen. And these rings are a symbol of the unbroken unity of truth, now to be symbolized in your married lives. Tell me you place it on her finger and repeat after me. With this ring I give to you my promise. With this ring I give to you my promise. That from this day forward, that from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. May God bless you always. May God bless you always. May we walk together through all things. May we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed you are. For indeed you are. May you always see your innocence in my eyes. May you always see your innocence in my eyes. With this ring. With this ring. I give to you my heart. I give to you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I will do my best. I promise I will do my best. I will always try. I will always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored to be called your husband. To be called your husband. Place it on his finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I give to you my promise. With this ring, I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. May my arms be your home. May my arms be your home. May God bless you always. May God bless you always. May we walk together through all things. May we walk together through all things. 
May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed you are. For indeed that you are. May you always see your innocence in my eyes. <laughs> May you always see your innocence in my eyes. May you always see your innocence in my eyes. With this ring. With this ring. I give to you my heart. I give to you my heart. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. I promise I will do my best. I promise I will do my best. I will always try. And I will always try. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. To be called your wife. To be called your wife. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. To call you mine. To call you mine. May we feel this joy forever. May we feel this joy forever. <laughs> And now I give you this charge that you love each other with an encompassing spectrum of love and that to the expressions of love and words and actions as well as the comforting silence. That to be interested in nurturing concern for each other's happiness and well-being. That you be mindful of each other's needs with honest effort to fulfill. To talk when the other one needs to hear. To listen when the other one needs to be heard. To touch when the other one needs touching. To hold when the other one needs to be held and understand solitude when the other one needs to be alone. And also that you might make living space for each other to be oneself fully expressed, and that you grow to understand and make provision for each other's humanness with both its strengths and its frailties. And that you have tenderness in your strength and yet find real strength and tenderness itself. And that you open yourselves to that divine love which is woven the tapestry of your union. And that you honor the infinite weaver with faith, hope, and love, these three. Knowing that the greatest of these is love, do you accept this charge? Okay, let's all bow our heads in prayer. Okay. Eternal Father, infinite life, with whom to be in conscious union is joy, with whom to feel separated is sadness, may this man and this woman who have entered today into this beautiful spiritual union always be aware of your indwelling presence. May they be one with each other as they are now one with thee. May they always rejoice together in perfect happiness and love and harmony and find their lives fully self-expressed in every way. We accept for them this day an abundance of joy and happiness, peace and love and health and prosperity in all good things. We know that you do also. And for this beautiful gift of life, we simply say thank you, Holy Spirit. And so we accept it, so we let it be, and so it is. Amen. Well, then, as much as you, Thomas, and uh, you, Stacy, have consented together in the bonds of matrimony and pledged your faith each to the other in the presence of God and these witnesses, now by the legal authority vested in me in the state of Nevada, I happily pronounce you husband and wife, and uh, you may kiss your bride and then turn back to me. It's my very special privilege to be the first to address you as husband and wife, which, of course, you now are. And to give you your first gift as husband and wife, and in the language of flowers, a rose is always a symbol of love. And Tom wants you to take it and pass it to your wife. And as you give this to her, you're giving each other your first gift as husband and wife, which of course is a symbol of love. And I hope that wherever you make your home, you have a very special place in it for roses. And that on each succeeding anniversary of this very holy occasion, you remember it in part by bringing to the appointed place a rose. Also, you know, in every relationship, sometimes it's difficult to find words to resolve certain issues that seem to come up. And if and when such issues should come to your relationship, if either of you will remember to bring to the appointed place a rose, the other will see it and understand it as a restatement of love. And, and since love makes everything all right, you may kiss your wife again. <laughs> Let's congratulate him. Good Somebody loves you. There's no 